What's going on, everybody? This is the dude. The dude abides. Hey, um, with the hey, we all know about the wildfires going on in Hawaii and everything. People are dying. I think the last count I seen was 89. Let's keep those people over there on the island in our prayers. You know, but for you guys in the rock and roll community, one of our members, Fleet Mick Fleetwood, lost his uh, downtown restaurant in Maui. So here's the report on ABC or CBS News this morning. Welcome back to CBS Mornings. You know that Mick Fleetwood is a drummer and co-founder of the legendary rock band that would be Fleetwood Mac. He's born in England, but he's called Maui home for decades. As a deadly wildfire swept through the historic town of Lahaina, his restaurant, Fleetwoods on Front Street, I've been there, was among the hundreds of businesses that were destroyed. Carter Evans spoke with him about the loss of his beloved community. It's way over 40 years ago. A lot of history here for me, for family. The island of Maui is where ago, this rock and roll hall of famer raised his kids. This is my home, nowhere else. When flames came roaring through Lahaina, Mick Fleetwood was visiting family in LA. He immediately began buying emergency supplies, packed them onto a plane and flew to Maui to help his community and his employees who worked at his restaurant, Fleetwood's on Front Street. Many of them have lost their homes. I think had I been here, I still would have felt helpless, but not as helpless. There are people still in dire, dire, dire straits emotionally with absolutely the enormity of this is not known. But the real loss is the sadness that we're all facing is loss of life, preserving what is there in the immediacy of help. His restaurant is destroyed, but Fleetwood says his only concern is for his Ohana, his extended family, the staff of 100 people who lost their livelihoods. The miracle. When we last visited two years ago, Fleetwoods was reopening, welcoming people back after the pandemic. The venue honored Hawaiian culture, offering sweeping views of the Pacific, and was the place Mick and some of his famous friends loved to perform. We're only a few days into this catastrophe now, and I think it's beginning to dawn on people how big this really is yeah. and how long it is going to take to recover. It, it's truly monumental. The fact that this culture and these islands are, I mean, look at this place. It's, it actually magnifies how could it happen there? It's unimaginable and something unimaginable adds in, in my quiet opinion to keeping the focus on what has to be done to put this back together. Can you explain why it's so special to so many people? For people not from here, it's Maui, Hawaii, Lahaina. <laughs> it was charming, it was artistic, it had a history of music, it had a history of paying attention to culture. I would always reference it as going into the French Quarter in New Orleans, where although it's changed, nothing could take away from the essence. You could feel that history. Well, amen to that. This is where I need to be. With more than 2,000 buildings damaged or destroyed and the loss of life continuing to rise, the 76-year-old musician is committed to helping Maui residents heal and rebuild. You brought that community happiness through music. Can you help that community rebuild through music? Will there be a benefit concert? Well, I think music is a hugely powerful medium and thoughts are already on hand, in, first of all in here. There's no doubt that my intention is to be either part of things, to create within something, to keep this on the tip of people's thought process. Mm -hmm. And it's something I can do, it's something I aspire to be doing. That's what I trust. To be continued. To be very much continued. For CBS Mornings, I'm Carter Evans on Mount. Well, there you have it, people. Make Fleetwood's Maui mission to help bring some um, sanity back there. Serenity must be crazy, must be awful. 
you pray, keep them in your prayers. If you don't pray, think about them. Just hope that everybody can recover and recuperate off this crazy, crazy fire. I'm the dude of boy, thanks for watching.